Hi, Lee Ellis here with this month's Leading with Honor Coaching. Well, if you're like me, you're looking at the goals for the year and some challenges that are going to come with them. You know, there are always challenges in life, especially when we're trying to take on new things and accomplish new goals. Well, I'm facing those, you probably are too, and so I've been thinking about fear. You know, fear creeps into our head. Some of you may not acknowledge fear. You may say, well, I have some doubts sometimes. And we can actually work so hard to not be fearful, to make everything perfect, that we don't realize that there's fear driving that behind. But, you know, the lies we believe about ourselves and the challenges that we face out there, there's this constant dialogue actually going on in our head about who we are And what's going to happen to us? And are we good enough to handle this? Are we big enough? Uh, Are we trying to take on too much? Can we see it through to the end? All those little questions that come up. And how can we deal with that? Well, you know, I, I look back to my POW experience as a time when I lived with a lot of fear and had to face it almost daily. You know, it started, though, the day that my airplane was hit and blew into several pieces, and I had to take the nylon letdown. had to make that decision to jump out of an airplane and right into enemy territory, right into the hands of the gunners that we'd been bombing there. So that was uh, probably a pretty uh, dangerous thing, a very exciting and fearful thing. But in the moment, I was able to prioritize and make good choices, one that I did have to eject or was going to die if I stayed in the airplane that was going to hit the ground, and two, once I did eject, to do everything I could to evade capture. Now, so I was operating on a lot of training. I had been trained for this for several years. And number two, trying to use my logic, and in the moment, you know, fear causes uh, adrenaline and all sorts of things in our body and brain to give us the ability to react quickly, the fight or flight syndrome. And certainly that was going on within me at that time, but I was able to actually execute the training that I'd had. So relying on our logic and our training in a fearful situation that comes up all of a sudden can help us uh, in the moment get through it in a very helpful way, and it certainly did for me. The next thing, though, that happens after I was captured, now it's a different kind of fear. Uh, The real fear hit because I couldn't, I was out of control. I couldn't make choices. The only choice I could make was internally, in my mind, to choose to follow my values and commitments. And that was a scary thing. Uh, I think when you're facing fears, it's always about uh, leaning into the pain to do what you know is right. In my particular case, my job was to resist the enemy, to not cooperate with them, and to remain faithful to my country and my fellow POWs. So those were my commitments and those were my values. How am I gonna do that? Well, again, there's this internal dialogue going on, you know, from the inside and the outside is, can I measure up? Can I do this? Is this bigger than me? They have the power. You know, they're threatening me with torture. They're threatening me I never go home threatening I might not live, all those kind of things that are very fearful. And I was afraid, big time. But this dialogue is kind of coaching myself and helping me analyze it and saying, well, what's the next thing I can do? The next thing I can do is to refuse to cooperate uh, a little longer and then a little longer. And that took a lot of courage. I think For me, it was a period of growing in courage, and I think we can all grow in courage as we face uh, fears and make a decision to lean into our fears and doubts to do what we know is right. That dialogue allows us some time to process and to stay aligned with our values and make choices that support them. It also allows us time to connect with others, and that's very important. Even in the POW camps, we were usually able to connect with people when they were in solitary or when you were in solitary through our covert communication. And that connection was so important because we needed support. We needed encouragement. We needed wisdom. And we need to know what's going on with others and what they're facing. I think the same is true every day as we look to our goals this year. We need not only to be committed to our values and to the things that that got us here, that are going to get us over there in terms of values and commitments and so on, but also to be connected with people because people are going to help us have the courage to do what we need to do. They're going to help us when we're down, when we're 
doubts and fears are taking over, they'll be able to encourage and say, oh, you can do that, or I can help. Putting all that together and ha having gone through that myself, both in the POW camps and day-to-day -day life now where I face fears every day. You know, I've got some big, big ideas for this year. Got a team that's going to help me, but we'll have to lean into the pain and stay committed to those values that we have in order to work through our fears. Well, I think you can do the same. And I think the Courage Challenge card that I just mentioned, the Courage Challenge, this card can really help you to remind you to lean into the pain of your doubts and fears, to do what you do, know is right, to keep your commitments, to stay aligned with your values, and to make those hard choices and overcome your fears. And as you do that, what's going to happen is you're, you'll grow in courage. And yes, you'll be aware of the fears, but you won't let them hold you back. And you'll be able to beat off the lies that uh, creep in and say you can't do that and all the reasons why you shouldn't do that or should do that maybe for something. So lean into the pain of your doubts and fears and be sure and tune into our Leading with Honor website and let us know what you think about fear and how you're dealing with it this year. Look forward to seeing you next month.